Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get the accurate time from the internet using the M5 Core ESP32 development kit. For this project you will need a M5 Core ESP32 development kit, Wi-Fi internet connection and Visuino program. Go to Visuino website and download and install Visuino program. Start Visuino and select M5 Stack Core Board. Select the board and in the properties window expand modules, Wi-Fi, connect to access point and click on the three dots button. Now in the access points window drag Wi-Fi access point to the left side and in the properties window set SSID for your router or, or Wi-Fi hotspot and set the password. Now close the access points window. Now again expand modules Wi-Fi and select sockets and click on the three dots button. In the sockets window drag TCP IP client to the left side and in the properties window set the host server for the internet time and set the port to 37 and close the sockets window. Now again select the board and in the properties window expand modules, TFT display and select elements and click on the three dots button. Now in the elements window drag text field to the left side and in the properties window set fill color to black and horizontal align to center. Now set the size to 12 and X to 20. Now let's set the font. To do that select elements and click on the three dots button. Now in the elements window drag font to the left side and in the properties window select Adafruit font. Now close the elements window. In this elements window drag another text field to the left side and in the properties window set fill color to black, horizontal align to center, size to 5, x to 20 and y to 100. Now repeat the same process for the font, select the elements and click on the three dots button and in the elements window drag font to the left side and select Adafruit font and close the elements window also close this elements window now we are going to add the pulse generator component And in the properties window set frequency to 0.116667. Now add the internet time protocol component. And optional you can set the time zone offset in the properties window. I'm going to set 1. Now let's add delete write subtext component. And in the properties window set length to 8. Now let's add delete left subtext component.
and add split text component. We need this component to split the time and date into two lines. I'm going to put the link for the amazing tutorial about the split text component in the description. So check it out. Select split text one component and in the properties window under the text type percent zero two spaces percent one. Now double click on the split text component and in the elements window drag two text elements to the left side and close the elements window. Now connect parse generator 1 pin out to internet time 1 pin clock and connect internet time 1 pin out to delete write text 1 pin in and connect internet time 1 pin socket to the board sockets pin in Now connect delete right text 1 pin out to delete left text 1 pin in and connect delete left text 1 pin out to split text 1 pin in. Now connect split text 1 text element 1 pin out to text field 2 pin in and pin clock. and connect text element 2 to the board pin text field 1 pin in and pin clock at the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right port and board and click compile build and upload button 